of the city of Hot Springs today unveiled its second solar power plant, part of its efforts to power all city operations with renewable energy. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley attended the ribbon cutting ceremony this morning and has more. For us to be able to lead the way in the state of Arkansas of going 100% renewable for, for our municipal uh, activities is, is the first step and others will take notice. The solar plant came about from a partnership between the city and company Scenic Hills Solar, Arkansas's largest solar power developer. According to city officials, the new solar plant combined with the old will power roughly 50% of city operations. The ultimate goal, 100%. The ambition here that the city has expressed is as good as you can do for the city government operation. 100% renewable energy and saving money for taxpayers and adding to the local economy and enhancing national security. The new plant in particular will power Hot Springs wastewater treatment facility. The new solar plant alone will generate over 6.6 .6 million kilowatts of electricity, $600,000 worth of power annually. Scenic Hill Solar says it is selling the power to Hot Springs at a lower price than the city would get from major utility company Entergy. We're selling them electricity at a lower price than they would pay to their utility, Entergy Arkansas. And by doing that, uh, the city of Hot Springs and their taxpayers save money uh, without spending any money. Halter and city officials present at the ribbon cutting today made clear that the expansion of Hot Springs use of solar power brought them into direct conflict with Entergy. Overcoming fierce opposition from a predatory monopoly utility every step of the way. It has been a fight, and it's a fight worth having. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, thanks very much. If you'd like to learn more about the environmental impact of this new solar power plant, just click on this story over at KATV.com.